Hi folks, just want to share with you about <coughs> whether uh, you should marry an atheist or not, um, or if you are married to an atheist, what you should do, okay? Uh, the scriptures say this about marriage. 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, Do not be yoked with unbelievers, for what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness, or what fellowship has light with darkness? So, you know, you'd be very unwise to marry an unbeliever. Some Christian women and men have married atheist women and atheist men. Okay? Uh, but, if you're caught, if you're going, if you're a Christian woman or a Christian man, and you're going out with an atheist or an unbeliever, then you need to stop going out with them because it's against what the Bible's teaching, and it will do you harm. To one Corinthians chapter fifteen verse thirty-three: Do not be deceived; bad company ruins good morals. One Corinthians chapter seven verse thirty-nine: A wife is bound to a husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is free to be married to whom she wishes, only in the Lord. You marry in the Lord. You marry someone who's in Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 15. What accord has Christ with Belial, or what portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? 1 Corinthians 6.18. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body so you need to realize that marrying an unbeliever or an atheist is not a good thing to do uh, it's not to say that that they are they're bad or anything but it's just the scripture warns that if you're going to get married you marry someone who knows jesus who knows the lord okay otherwise you're going to store up problems in your marriage if, if you're both not of the same mind it's going to cause tension uh, within your marriage, okay? And then, what if you're married to someone who is an atheist? You have got married and they are an atheist. Well, he says, then the Lord, 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to keep the unrighteous under his punishment until the day. Well, the, the Lord will rescue from the trial. He, he will help you in that situation. You know, to he, he says in 2 Corinthians 7, 14, For the unbelieving husband is made holy because of his wife, and the unbelieving wife is made holy because of her husband. Otherwise your children would be unclean, but as added to his, they are holy. So basically your, your husband or your wife, if they're an atheist or an unbeliever, you being a believer... Uh, the Lord will help you in that. He'll help you to be a good influence on your your family. Okay, so try to be Christ to your wife or Christ to your husband, uh, and show them the love of Christ. And you know, hopefully, you know, the Lord will help you in that. And you know, eventually, they might come to know the Lord Jesus. But the Lord will help you to share share your love uh, to your husband or wife who is an atheist or unbeliever. Okay, those are just some thoughts uh, about marrying an unbeliever. I hope that's a blessing.